often come across people who wish they had a new kitchen cabinet, but lack the resources to get one. In this video, I am sharing several makeover ideas that can make such wishes come true. This is no empty talk. Dozens of people have succeeded in giving their cabinet a brand new look without spending a fortune on it. Get your mind ready and follow this list to learn how you can achieve what you want. Next, these are 12 things that you can do to give your kitchen cabinet a new look. As always, this list is presented to you by SimpHome.com. Number 12. Add style to your cabinet with shaker type doors. This is how you can make shaker type cabinet doors using MDF. First, prepare the door after removing it from the cabinet by sanding and cleaning it and filling up the gaps. Similarly, make the MDF strips, then cut the strips to size. Place the strips with the outer side facing downwards. Wipe the strips and the door dry and then apply wood glue. You can use liquid nails as well. Make the application in a crisscross fashion, leaving sufficient gaps near the edges. Finally, nail the MDF strips into place using a nail gun. Number 11. Paint your kitchen cabinets without sanding or priming. I stumbled upon a simple way to paint the kitchen cabinet without sanding or priming. The only condition is you have to use the General Finishes Milk Paint. First, remove all the appliances and other articles and pull out the doors and drawers. Clear the drawers of all their contents, but keep the other things in the cabinet. Wipe the surfaces with a liquid deglosser, and that is all there is to it. Last, paint your kitchen's cabinet following the instructions of the manufacturer. Number 10. Remodel and Glam Your Kitchen When I looked at the options for remodeling my kitchen, I realized that it would involve many new installations. So I listed out the essential things to consider, and here they are. You have to decide whether to replace or remodel your cabinet. Then there are the paneling and the tiles. You have to choose the style, color, and look that blend with the rest of the kitchen. Then you have to select the countertops and plan the island. You also need to look at the sink and the trash can. Finally, you have to prepare the space for all the appliances accordingly. Number 9. Laminate and make your floor look stunning. Laminates are not in any way inferior to hardwood. There are over 20 varieties available, and they range from traditional and vintage types to modern ones. They provide a range of different looks that include chic, feminine, masculine, and family looks. Besides, there are other options like an industrial look, a cottage look, or an ecclesiastical look. There is even a timeless look. The choice extends further to those of chic, elegant, grand, and small looks. For those who want to keep up with the times, there are trendy, modern, futuristic looks. Number 8. Replace the overhead fluorescent light and make it trendier. If you decide to replace your old-fashioned fluorescent lamp that illuminates your kitchen well, but has not kept up with the times, first remove your old bulb and replace it with a new one of your choice. It won't trouble you. Second, start removing the plastic panel covering the lamp. Next, remove the screws and the bulbs, and then the metal cover over the electrical connections. Once this is over, you can remove the old fixture from the ceiling. Put your new bulb together and connect it up before finally mounting it on the ceiling. Number 7. Change your cabinet color and make it more attractive. If you plan to paint your kitchen cabinet to give it a new look, start by deep cleaning the cabinet inside out. This helps remove the dirt and grease accumulated over the years, which is necessary for getting an excellent finish. Once the cabinet is clean, sand it to make the surface sufficiently rough for the new paint to stick. Then tape all parts that contact the cabinet and remove all the hardware that is inside. After that, apply two coats of primer and allow it to dry. Once it is dry, apply the final coat. Number 6. Give a new feel to your vinyl floor without replacing it. Here's how you could get a new look for your vinyl floor without replacing it with a new one. First, remove all existing dirt and stains on the vinyl floor with a mildew cleaner. Once the floor is free of dirt, sand it thoroughly until the floor is smooth without being glossy. Then apply one coat of the primer, first along the edges, and then on the rest of the floor. After allowing this to dry, apply a second coat and let it dry. Once you finish the two coats of primer, apply the final coat of the porch and patio paint. Number 5. Use open shelves for a natty farmhouse facade. Using open shelves can provide a rustic look to the house. If you have a plan to do precisely that, make sure it is purse-friendly and pleasing to the eye. Get lumber in standard sizes and cut them to the lengths that you need. Sand the wood to a fine finish and then coat it with stain and poly. Allow the wooden pieces to dry. While they are drying, mark and fix the brackets. With the brackets fixed, take out the shelves that are dry and place them on the brackets. Your new open shelf is ready. 
Number four, make your wall jazzy with this magical spoon arrangement. I could call it a spoon show. Using several spoons of various sizes, you can produce a new rustic look to your kitchen. First, decide on the required spacing and arrangement. Next, dip the spoons into household paint. Then, take the spoons out and allow them to dry. After the paint has dried to a soft consistency, smooth out the surface with your fingers. Using ribbons, mark out the rows on the wall according to the design that you already made. All that remains is to fasten the spoons to the wall. You can finish the last job by using small square pieces of command tapes. Number 3. Brighten your walls with Scrabble tiles. Scrabble tiles can add a distinctive look to the walls, and you can make these tiles yourself from used wooden palettes, which I assume you would find without any difficulty. Next, remove the planks from the palette and cut them into square pieces of the right size. How do you decide the right size? Make them large enough to be noticeable, but small enough to stay in the background. Then clean and sand them. Once the tiles are ready, prepare your design on paper. Following this design, paste vinyl decals with the required letters and numbers onto the wooden tiles. Number 2. Hang dry herbs the right way. Here's a way to dry herbs at home. By using this procedure, your kitchen can get a facelift while you get quality dried herbs. To do this, use a 12-inch hoop, wooden beads, S-hooks, and three pieces of macrame cord of 48 inches each. Instructions. Wrap all three pieces of cord over the hoop, maintaining equal distance. Then pull the loose ends to the top, attach the beads, and tie them into a knot about 12 inches above. The hanging herb dryer is ready. To hang the herbs, attach the S-hooks to the hoop, evenly spacing them along its periphery. Then use twine to fasten the herbs to the hoop and let them dry. Before I finish this countdown, support the channel by pressing the subscribe button under the video. Keep us in your subscription tabs for more home and garden improvement ideas like this. And finally, let's close our countdown with... Number 1. Get a new backsplash with Press Tin. Here's how you can get a brand new backsplash in your kitchen using Press Tin panels. It costs next to nothing and is ready before the day is out with strong determination. First, measure each area where you decide to fix the panels and cut the sheets accordingly with a utility knife. Leave openings for outlets and switch plates. Before fixing the panel, paint the tiles white. This is to avoid its color showing through the tin panels. After these simple preliminary steps, you are ready. Next, fix the panels using an adhesive and your backsplash is prepared. Before the end, there is another small step you have to take. Clock the cracks and cover them up if you can find any. There are more than a couple of things which you can take to improve the appearance of your kitchen and also give it a brand new look. The good news is that these are generally easy DIY jobs. What's more, they need only small budgets. These makeovers will, in most cases, also make your kitchen more efficient. I already covered a few essential aspects of such a makeover. There was an attractive backsplash that you can craft using pressed tin sheets. Then I talked about how you could improve your kitchen decor and enjoy home dried herbs. How to add scrabble tiles and the magical spoon display to breathe the exotic touch to your kitchen. One idea of how to get a farmhouse look with open shelves. How to improve a kitchen's look with new vinyl or laminate flooring. How to freshly paint cabinets using simple and expensive methods. And last, how to replace that old fluorescent light and fitting shaker type cabinet doors. The best part is that these DIY tips cost only a small fraction of what professionals would charge. The results were no less impressive. That's it for now. Since you're still watching this video, press the like button, comment, or share it with anyone close to you on your favorite social media channel. Browse and follow the Simp Home website for more amazing content related to home and decor ideas. And until we meet again later sometime in the future, thanks for watching.